Welcome back to a brand new video, and today I'm going to be talking about how I would bring back Freddy Krueger, how I would do a Nightmare on Elm Street, not film, a TV show. Let me explain. You, when you're doing these slashers, you have to think about how you're going to make him scary, because you got two sides. You got the side that has seen all the slasher movies, this side... It's not scared of Jason and all his characters. Then you got this side that's going to be scared of them. Or at least somewhat. So you got two sides that you have to cater to. You just can't cater to one side. You gotta cater to both. And how I would do that is have a Nightmare on Elm Street TV show. Yes, we had one before. But not like this. A Nightmare on Elm Street TV show actually showing Freddy before he was burnt. Have a 10 episode Netflix original series on Netflix and show Freddy before he was burnt. You know, I feel like an interesting twist would be um, that's one thing I hated about the remake that they forced he was a child molester. Um, in the original films, they say he was a child killer. Um, he never, re it was never really explained if he did it or not did it in the original. So what I would do in this TV show is he didn't do it. He didn't harm them children. He didn't kill any children. And what I would actually say is he was falsely accused. And what I would do is have a twist where... I would have a twist, basically. And the twist would be, you know, Kruger is his, you know, weird, you know, late 20s, 29, late 30s, you know. You know, he's 35, 39, maybe 40. You know, he's a very weird old man, basically. And, you know, he kind of creeps around a little bit. And, um... But no one really knows why he does this, and they all just assume um, that he's harming these children and stuff, you know. I'm not going to say it in the video, but you know. And, and they, you know, and the parents are thinking, oh, we know what he's doing. He's killing the children and all this. Um, because the children, some of the children are going missing. Where are the children going um, again, I'm not a writer, so someone have to correct me on this. But what if Freddy was protecting these kids? Now, I see some complications in my ideal. But say what if Freddy was trying to protect these children? And he was hiding some of the children, and he was watching some of the children for, to protect them, because Springwood always had dirty secrets. And one of them dirty secrets was they always abused their children. And what happened was, on the night of when Freddy got burnt, again, when you're a human and you're a demon, you're two different things. You know, if you got a demon inside of you, you're controlled by the demon. You have the mind of that person, but that demon is going to take a, that demon's going to take control. So when you know Freddy's getting burnt, you see in the scene, and all of a sudden, and he's met with a dream. You know he sees the dream demon, and you know he asks, "Can I have the power and all this?" Kind of like how Freddy's dead did it, um, but can I have the power and all this? And he gets the power. He doesn't know what to do with the power. But he has an idea. Because. Here comes the other twist. Now let me know in the theory. Now let me know in the comments below. Are you still watching it? And let me know in the comments. Do you feel my, do you feel my theory. And how I would do this TV show. Um, like I said from the start. Freddy has always been innocent. In this TV show. Um, he was trying to protect the kids from Springwood's dirty little secret and from abuse. Parents was abusing these children from the start. And what happened was Freddy 
again, had something wrong with him already. He was not all there. He was, you know... And he did kill one of the parents. He did kill one of the parents. He did kill one of the parents. Out. Of protection. But Freddy, in this moment of hysteria... Of his moment of hysteria, he doesn't know what to do. He sees this this kid screaming and saying the kid's going to run to the cops and all this. And Freddy doesn't know what to do, you know. Like, this is where he snaps. Like, he sees the kid and kills the kid. That's where Freddy starts to think, well... I can't protect these kids. They don't want my help. See what I'm saying? Now, I do see some people hating on this in the comments below. I can understand. But think about it. But think about it. Freddy has always been a weird, twisted type of character. What if his real demeanor was, yes, to protect these children. But really, to, but really don't make him sympathetic. But, like, has so many twists in the first season. One of those twists was he was actually trying to protect the children. But, actually, he was not all the way protecting them. He wanted to kill the parents. And by him killing the parents made him snap. Him killing the parents made him snap. And he was already on the verge of snapping. Him killing these parents made him snap even more. And then going into that snapping mode... And him hearing these kids talk about him, and now he just has it out for these kids. When he hear he when he hears the kids talking about him, and how dirty he is, and what he did, because the kids let you know let the kids find out what he did. And now Freddy feels like everyone's out to get him, you know. So like have the rest of the you know have the parents. It's still alive from a spring one that's in the group. Go out and burn Freddy. And when Freddy gets the dream demon in him, you know, it's the end of season one. He gets the dream demon in him. He says, I want all the power. And then in season two, we will introduce him starting to haunt the dreams of the children of Springwood. To me, this sounds pretty cool. And Freddy, you know, have you know, have this TV show where Freddy seems innocent, but then his real attention was all along to kill the parents, not the children, but the parents, and he killed the children because he didn't know he killed the children because he thought it would be fun. Even have a line in the TV show where he says, "Well, I didn't know what to do at the time. I thought I was doing the right thing by killing them." But I also liked it. And have Freddy say something like that would be pretty cool to me. Um, who I, who, you know, you know, they're not going to get Robert England to play Freddy. Who would I choose to play Freddy? I would get a no-name actor. You can get a no-name actor. Get a no, a, a, get an actor that has a no-name, no ties in Hollywood. Get a no-name actor. Say, make this character your own. Make Freddy your own character. That's what I would do. That's how I would make <laughs> Nightmare on Elm Street, the TV series, the Freddy, the Kruger TV. In fact, I would call I would call this TV show not Nightmare on Elm Street, not Freddy. I would just call it Kruger. I would just call it Kruger. Um, I would just call it Kruger. Because I think, let me know in the comments below, do you think that's a cool ideal? You know, Freddy seems innocent, but he's a real teen star to kill the parent. Then, then things go south, and then he knows what he has to do now is kill the children. Because the children are a witness. They're the last little piece of the puzzle. But he starts to enjoy killing these children and torturing them and then, you know, in their dreams. He enjoys that. You know, he gets a rush off of that. And that's where he becomes Freddy Krueger than we know and love today. I think that'd be a pretty cool idea. Don't make him sympathetic. I don't think you can sympathize with that. But, and two is making Freddy very dark. Like, it's giving him a very dark back 
backstory. We're not going too far back. But let me know in the comments below. But let me know in the comments below. Do you think that'd be a cool idea? Um, let me know in the comments below. Do you think a Freddy Krueger Nightmare on the Street TV show would be awesome like this? And would you like to see a no-name actor play Freddy since they don't want Robert to come back? I would like to see this type of TV show because, again, it's making Freddy scary, it's making him dark, and it's making him very unpredictive. And, you know, you can lock this TV show in for three seasons, and then after your third season, you can do a film. I think that'd be pretty smart, you know, test the waters with Freddy with this TV show with Netflix. And when the Netflix series ends, you go, in, you know, to the big screen. That's how I would do it. But let me know in the comments below. Let me know in the comments below. Do you like my idea? You know, I've been thinking about this idea like all day. And I thought, hey, I'll make a video on it. Well, make sure you go check out my two other videos I did. I will catch everyone in the next video. Peace. Have a great day.